Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another beautiful video. Today I would just like to do a designer overview. The designer we're going to be talking about I will explain in a second, their history, what I think about them, and yeah, let's just get right into it. Over the past couple years, the craze for dark, handmade, rigid, gothic, beautiful clothing has arisen. This is a niche of clothing that has been monopolized by a few designers, yet there's one that stands out on a podium above all others. Carol Christian Pohl, an Austrian designer who holds up in a studio in Milan's Navagali district, quietly designs an ultra-niche cult label that he doesn't always produce and only shows the public when he feels like it. What is his history though? <laughs> this is hard because he has the same communication ideals as Mesa Martin Margiela where there's very few to no interviews and people don't know truly if it is him in the interviews. Yet Paul's ability to obstruct himself from popular attention has both added to his allure and in turn made him one of the greatest marbles in modern fashion. While his designs are in a league of their own, Paul has remained fiercely protective of his independence from commercial, stylistic trends in fashion. Where is he from? Born in Linz, Austria in 1966, Carol Christian Pohl was raised with the trade of Gerber Lehren, or leather making. His father, grandfather, uncle, all worked in leather business, finding new ways to give life back to leather, a phase that Pohl would later use to define his aesthetic for one of his collections. Obviously, as time goes on, we the public see the results of this, and we get pieces such as jackets, gloves, and so, so many beautiful boots, which we will talk about later. At an age of 15, Pohl familiarized himself with the popular techniques used in his family trade and steadily developed a talent for creating well-constructed garments. His stepfather, who worked in a clothing factory his entire life, provided the young Pohl with an opportunity to develop his interest in tailoring at a young age. Pohl then attended college at Senior Academy of Commerce and the School of Fashion and Design in Graz, Austria. While living in Graz, Pohl was essentially given two choices, hone in his skills in Gerberlicher, leather treating, or pursue tailoring. This would be a turning point for his life and his future label. He obviously chose tailoring, and I cannot stress enough how good of a decision this is. I'm always fond of brands who can master the idea of tailoring, and as you all know, I love experimental fashion as well. All of a sudden, Pohl now was equipped with both, yet his mind had to change one more time for everything to align. Quickly, he realized that tailoring in Vienna did not require any sort of universal university level education, causing him to pivot his career path one last time towards fashion design. Shortly after Paul moved to Milan to conclude his academic career at the Domus Academy, where he would receive his master's in fashion design, meet Sergio Simula, and together establish CCP SRL in 1995, and then go on to do CCP. After this, we know we have the CCP that we know today, who has a mastery of leatherwork and tailoring, combined with this aesthetic of handmade, gritty clothing. That is what creates Carol Christian Pohl, and it makes him one of the well, most well-known niche brands today. With all this together, he makes such a beautiful brand of unique items, of tailoring, of leatherwork, and we see this through all these different boots, and he takes in new ideas such as prosthetics, which I unfortunately couldn't find any information on why he loves using prosthetics, but he uses them amazingly. He has prosthetic leather jackets, he has prosthetic boots, and both of them look amazing. The second thing you will notice that he will use a lot, aside from leather, is drip. <laughs> Which, of course, <laughs> is this sort of drip effect on the clothing, which you can see is made out of a, a tar, almost, or a gluish oil canvas that creates this tar effect on the shoes and creates a drip. He uses this on a couple different items, and it looks beautiful. I can't stress enough how, if I ever make a Black Leather Boots 3 or 4, it will be with uh, the prosthetic drip boot. It has to be. Uh, has to be. 
And the final thing I'd like to touch on would just be the fact that he makes beautiful jewelry as well. I know for a while people were making fun of the ring with the eyeball on it saying imagine spending this much money for your crush and them just thinking you're a freak. But he makes beautiful handmade watches, beautiful handmade jewelry, everything together creates this beautiful aesthetic that is Carol Christian Pohl. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. I did say a lot of that information very fast. I would love for you guys to like do research on your own. There's so much to this brand and it's a never expanding brand as he is still releasing. So as always, I hope you guys like this video and have an amazing day.